This is it, you guys. This is my new morning routine. Today's the first day that I'm not going into my full-time nine to five job. I am full-time on YouTube. Man, this was not an overnight decision. This has been three, probably more like seven years worth of decision making that helped us get set up into this place. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about things that we've overcome, things that we're working on overcoming, and things you should probably consider if you wanna quit your nine to five to be full-time creative. So the first hurdle that we had to overcome is that there's no guarantees in this. It's probably the thing that held us back for the longest. It's really nice to have that guaranteed paycheck and even when my income would start to match my nine to five or even exceed it, it just didn't feel the same because it wasn't guaranteed. It's that mental switch to entrepreneurship that I still feel like I struggle with because it has changed so much about how we budget and how we run our household. But one thing that we've done that's really helped ease our mind for this scenario is that we try to keep our monthly expenses as low as humanly possible. Curtis and I have made a lot of sacrifices. We don't have new car payments. He knows the rules. You know the rules, Cooper. We don't have new car payments. We live in a house that's well within our means. And we've actually made some decisions quite a few years ago that have helped subsidize our mortgage at, and keep our monthly expenses lower. But we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. So the next thing you're gonna have to overcome is getting new clients. We've had this YouTube channel for about three years now, and we're lucky enough to have a pretty good network of references and referrals and returning customers. But getting new business can be pretty daunting. When you set out to be a photographer or videographer or even an influencer, I think some people forget that they're gonna have to put on that marketing and salesperson hat. When our referrals start to dry up, the next thing we do is start pitching. We have a pitch template that we did a whole YouTube video on. I can link that down below for you. But as we refocus our YouTube channel and our business, we're gonna have to update that pitch template and we'll keep you up to date on our best tips for pitching in 2022. Okay, like I said, today is my very first day not in the office in a nine to five. And I feel like we need to do something a little bit special to celebrate. I could never just get up and go for a coffee in the middle of the day. Well, Curtis. Curtis, do you wanna go for get boba tea? The f is a boba tea. <laughs> so one obstacle that I don't know if it ever actually goes away, but it's accountability. We don't have a boss anymore making sure that projects get done on time. We're fully responsible for what we wanna post and there, honestly there's little repercussions if we don't get a YouTube video out this week. I would disagree with that. There's no like immediate repercussions, like there's not a boss waving in your finger, waving a finger in your face. But overall point of the YouTube video or the YouTube channel is to keep getting consistent content out and gaining views and gaining subscribers, gaining that audience. And if you're not getting those YouTube videos out, you're not gonna do accomplish any of those things. Yeah, and he'll yell at me instead of my boss this time, but I feel like I can handle it from him. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> That's yours, right? Juicy. Ah, it was easier to stab than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> hey, what are these? <laughs> We're such noobs. <laughs> it's tapioca in here, but it's like coffee flavored tapioca. Usually I don't like the pearls in these, but it's pretty good. Those are really good. They're not slimy. They taste better than that. I always think that texture's like snot. I'm not getting snot vibes. We're good. Also, nothing like quitting your job and then getting $20 coffees today. Good financial decisions. Well, now you put the snot visual in my head and I didn't have that there originally, but now every time I get one, uh... oh, stop. So kind of in the same realm of accountability is consistency. Consistency has been a major factor to getting us to this point. And Curtis is honestly the master of consistency. So for the past, how long have we had our channel? Like two years, two three. and a half years, three years? Probably three. Well, that would make sense. So for the past three years of having our YouTube channel, I've posted one video a week consistently for literally 149 weeks almost posting consistently it was the only reason we got to what are we at like 8200 subscribers right now almost to 10,000 
But if we weren't posting consistently, we wouldn't be anywhere near that. There are so many factors that make not being consistent like a terrible excuse, right? It's, it's easy not, to be non-consistent. It's so easy to not be consistent. Is it my best work? Is it my favorite project? Like, do I have other things in my personal life going on? There are a thousand factors that can make you inconsistent, but you gotta fight through them. Hi, Kona. <laughs> so one of the most important things that we had to set up to get ourselves to this point is multiple streams of income. Now, this is something that Curtis and I started thinking about seven or eight years ago when we bought our first house. We chose to live in the basement of that house and rent the upstairs. This sacrifice allowed us to continue to grow our real estate portfolio. And when I talked about keeping our monthly expenses low and finding ways to subsidize our mortgage, that's how we did it. This has been one of the most successful ways that we've created multiple streams of income, but it's a pretty long-term strategy. When we're thinking about things in the short term and right now, we're talking about not just relying on AdSense to support us, we're talking about creating digital products, doing freelance work. Curtis and I even take on wedding videos. And when the seasonality of those things end, now we're talking about creating long-term brand partnerships like what Curtis has with Cuts Clothing. My other little bonus tip about multiple streams of income is the more passive you can make them, the better. The last thing that we wanna do in a scenario like this is just work yourself into another job. We're very much so looking at this YouTube channel and our photo and video work as creating a business, not just creating another job for ourselves. Well guys, if you liked this video and you would like to see more of our journey of going full-time on YouTube, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>